Tacky Cult Tribe, Rick Hogg with Warhog Tactical out here at TRC inside the shoot house. So I want to talk about today's tacky tip as looking at how to do your dry fire training. So again, we have a plan when we go to the gym. We should have a plan when we go to the range to live fire. We also need a plan prior to when we're dry firing. So I just want to kind of give you some principles to look at. First and foremost, the most important thing, I've got this notebook I have with me all the time. This is both for my dry and my live fire and my range workouts. This is where I'm annotating everything on there. Um, so basically, you can do the same thing in your house. You just find a safe spot. I've got no ammo. I brought no live ammo in here with me. I've also double checked to make sure that my pistol is cleared and it is cleared and I'm going to sit there and holster. The other piece of equipment that I definitely need, I've got to have a pro timer. Um, is there apps and things like that i believe there are but i've never used them so i can't say anything about that i just use my pack pro timer and it's always worked great for me uh this thing's probably 20 plus years old and still holding up just great so definitely a worthwhile investment and then the only other thing i've done is if you look at um i've just put an aiming point up here on the wall i've got this green tape nothing fancy again it's just my reference point so uh i've got something to aim at when i'm doing my drill so all I'm looking to work, and don't get wrapped around this specific drill, just understand the concept of all I'm looking to do is I'm just going to work simple pistol presentations. So what I want to do from the ready position, presenting my pistol out, I want to be able to get a shot off or get it presented out, sights aligned, press the trigger in under a second. The beauty is with my pro timer, I've got a part time, so I've already set that on there. So again, I want to start moving at the first audible beep, and then I want to sit there and have a good press. As I'm doing this, I also want to make sure that I'm calling my shots. Hey, were my sights aligned? Were they off? Was I high? Was I low? How was my presentation coming out? And oh, the beauty is since I'm shooting this video, I also get to record. So we have our phones. So go ahead, utilize the technology that you can record yourself. If you want to get something like Coach's Eye, Coach's Eye allows you as you're shooting, hey, am I putting added movement, extra things that I don't need to? And you can draw lines and see things from there, both when you're doing live and dry fire. So again, I'm just set up here, so the simple drill is gonna be that I'm from the presentation on the tone, I'm gonna present out and then make my shot. So I'm here, tone goes, present, align, you can hear the gun fire, and then I'm gonna reset my pistol and then come back. So I'll do it without talking so you kinda of hear all the audibles. And I would continue repeating that. I could trim the time down to a lower time and again, I'm trying to get that as quick as I can, but at the same token, be an honest broker where I'm not just slapping it out there, sights weren't aligned, things are going crazy, guns going all over the place. I want to get drive that pistol as fast as I can. Can I do the same thing, you know, on my strong side? I can. I can do the same thing weak side. So again, the workout we did the other day had a lot of transitioning back and forth. Can I not just work on, hey, how quick can I sit there and draw my pistol, transition going out. Yep, there's all kinds of different things you can do. The biggest thing, so I, the reason I showed that one is if you think about this, if I'm looking to break the draw down and get my draw time faster, if I sit there and look at this whole piece of going, hey, I've gotta get this gun out in whatever my time that I'm looking for, break it down, right? So I can get it to where I can go, if you wanna say from the surrender position, there's hands down here, how quick can I get to my gun? Or hey, can I get it to where I can get the timer and I'm getting, this is, now this is my part time, presenting out. So you can see, you can break it down in different sections. It was no different if you wanted to use this in a non-games application. So for example, concealed carry, how quick can I actually get to, you know, lift my garments and get to my firearm? So it has a multiple different applications. But again, I just want you to break down one little piece. Think about how you're doing your dry fire training. We'll do some more, and that way I'm gonna to try to throw out some more dry fire regiments if you want. Kind of specific to the games and some things you guys are seeing. But again, I just wanna get you, you guys thinking, number one, I hope you've all got at least a notebook. You're starting to annotate stuff because again, the only way to judge what you're doing is via time. And then obviously when you go live, now you're grading on whether you're hitting steel or using paper. So you've gotta use those tangibles to get all that information to really gauge how well you're doing. So if you guys have more questions, either hit me on a DM. Um, again, I'm gonna try to keep things going on warhog.com. We're gonna try to get, if you wanna say a blog for lack of better terms, to try to hopefully get you guys going there. Again, it's all timing. Uh, just gotta get the time to do it. And then again, this will go on YouTube so that your friends that don't have 
Social media, for whatever reason, doesn't matter. You can shoot them a YouTube link and they can still get the info and still train hard. You guys train hard. Make sure you guys have your notebooks, pro timers, stopwatches. Good plan for what we're looking to do. And we'll see you guys at the games. Take care.